ever feel like you're trying to follow a conversation and it's like someone hit the fast forward button, like you blink and suddenly you've missed three jokes and a complete <laughs> change of plans? Sounds familiar. You might be dealing with a monkey. Exactly. <gasps> We're diving into the year of the monkey and trust me, things are about to get interesting. We're using Year of the Monkey Zodiac Fusion to decode this quick-witted sign. Get ready for some serious aha moments. Seriously. Okay, so we're talking about those classic monkey traits cleverness, that playful energy and adaptability that would make even the most skilled contortionist jealous. Right. It's like they're constantly 10 steps ahead, but in a fun way, you know? Totally. But where does all this come from? Yeah. It's got to be more than just random personality growth. Sure, right? yeah. You're absolutely on the right track. Monkeys are connected to the metal element, which is all about mental sharpness and resourcefulness. It's like having a built-in survival guide for any situation. Okay, that makes sense. But I've always wondered, does the specific year they were born in change things too? Like, what's the difference between a wood monkey and, say, a fire monkey? They've got to be different, right? You are so right. The year of the monkey cycles through those five elements, and let me tell you, it adds a whole other layer of complexity to their already vibrant personalities. Okay, I'm hooked. Break it down for us. What's the deal with these wood monkeys? Think of the most diplomatic person you know. Someone who can walk into a room full of arguing toddlers and somehow get them to play nice and share their toys. Okay, I know exactly who you're talking about. That's my friend Sarah. Yeah. Never gets flustered always sees both sides of the story. It's actually kind of annoying sometimes. Exactly. They're incredibly adaptable, always able to see the bigger picture. That's your classic wood monkey. All right, wood monkeys. You've officially impressed us. But what about those fire monkeys? Are they the ones who are always the life of the party, the ones who could start a conga line in an empty room? Bingo. They thrive in those high energy situations. A little bit of pressure just fuels their fire. They're your natural performers, your go-getters, your entrepreneurs who never seem to run out of steam. See, this is why I love the Zodiac. It's yeah. like you can suddenly understand those little quirks that make people tick. Absolutely. It's all about connecting those dots. Speaking of connecting dots, can we talk about the not-so-great stuff? You know, those little monkey weaknesses that we all secretly suspect but don't want to say out loud? Ah, uh, yes. No one's perfect, right? Even our beloved monkeys. Right. The source mentioned something about distractibility, which honestly doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Yeah, that boundless curiosity can be both a blessing and a curse. Monkeys might start a million projects with the best of intentions, but actually finishing them that's a different story. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> it's like having five different hobbies, three unfinished books on your nightstand, and a drawer full of half-baked business ideas. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> no judgment here. We've all been there. It's about finding strategies, you know, sure. systems and support to channel all that amazing energy effectively. That's where those non-monkey friends come in handy. You know, the ones who can gently or sometimes not so gently steer us back on track. Exactly. We all need that balance in our lives. And understanding these weaknesses, it's not about labeling anyone. It's about cultivating empathy. It's about recognizing those patterns and using that knowledge to support each other. Well said. Speaking of support, can we dive into relationships? Because I have to know, is the monkey rat love connection really as good as the source makes it out to be? It's true. They're often considered a match made in heaven, and it's not hard to see why. Okay, spill the tea. What's their secret? Synergy. Rats are known for their intelligence and practicality, which blends perfectly with the monkey's playful, spontaneous nature. They challenge each other, keep things interesting, and there's a deep mutual respect. It's like they just get each other, you know? No drama, just good vibes. Exactly. They bring out the best in each other. Okay, that's adorable. Uh. But let's get real for a second. What about those relationships that are, shall we say, a bit more dot explosive. Those pairings where you're like, how are these two even friends, let alone dating? Ah, you're talking about the ones that keep things interesting. Exactly. And the source specifically mentioned tiger and monkey as a potentially tricky combo. I mean, I can already see the sparks flying. It's like mixing fire and fireworks, isn't it? Definitely a dynamic duo. So break it down for us what makes these two clash. Think about it. You've got the monkey, who's all about going with the flow, adapting to any situation, and charming their way through life. And then you've got the tiger, bold, decisive, with a touch of that I'm always right energy. Okay, yeah. I can see how that could lead to some uh, disagreements. To put it mildly, the tiger might see the monkey as a bit too non-committal. You know, flitting from one thing to the next. And the monkey, well, they might find the tiger a little too controlling, too set in their ways. 
So are we saying this relationship is doomed from the start? Should we even bother trying to make it work? Not necessarily. It definitely takes effort, a willingness to understand where the other is coming from. But that's true for any relationship, right? It's like any recipe, right? You got to know what you're working with to find that sweet spot. Okay, so how do we do that? How do a tiger and a monkey even begin to bridge that gap? Well, the source suggests a healthy dose of self-awareness. If both the tiger and monkey come to the table understanding their own tendencies, their own strengths and weaknesses, that's already a huge step. Mm. So basically, acknowledge that you're both wired a little differently and try to see those differences as like complementary forces instead of deal breakers. Exactly. Imagine a tiger's drive and focus balanced by a monkey's out of the box thinking. They could really make something special happen. Okay, that's actually kind of inspiring. Uh -huh. So it's not impossible, just maybe requires a bit more effort. A little extra communication never hurt anyone, right? And a sense of humor. Always. But before we get too sidetracked, let's circle back to those tiger monkey relationships. I'm still picturing those sparks flying. Are there any real-world examples of this pairing that actually work? You know, the source didn't get into specific celebrity couples or anything like that. Grand. But the emphasis was definitely on awareness. If both parties are aware of those potential pitfalls, they can work together to navigate them. Okay, so maybe less fireworks and more like a carefully choreographed dance. Exactly. It's about finding that rhythm together. I like it. Speaking of finding your rhythm, what about monkey careers? The source mentioned traditional nine to five jobs being a bit like a cage for monkeys. Yeah, they definitely need a little more wiggle room, don't they? That whole cubicle life doesn't exactly scream monkey freedom. Right. And think about those core traits we were talking about earlier, that need for stimulation, the quick wit, those top-notch people skills. Those are some serious assets in the right environment. Absolutely. Monkeys are meant to shine, not blend in. Okay, so if not a cubicle, then what? What kind of careers do monkeys really thrive in? Anything fast-paced, anything that allows them to use their creativity and think on their feet. The source specifically mentions sales, entertainment, entrepreneurship. Basically any job where you get to talk to people. Be creative and maybe pull off a few impressive improvisations along the way. Sounds about right. But it's not just about being the life of the party or always being on. Monkeys have this incredible ability to analyze situations quickly, find creative solutions, and communicate those ideas effectively. That's valuable in any field. It's like they're wired for problem solving, but in a way that doesn't feel stressful or overwhelming. Exactly. It's that monkey magic. They can juggle multiple tasks, handle unexpected challenges, and still have the energy to crack a joke at the end of the day. See, now I'm starting to wish I was a monkey. Maybe I can channel my inner monkey somehow. We can all learn from each other, right? That's the beauty of this. So true. Okay, the source also gave some pretty awesome examples of famous monkeys, and I gotta say, it's a pretty impressive lineup. First up, the one and only Hugh Jackman. Talk about a multi-talented monkey actor, singer, dancer, and just all-around charming human being. Right. He embodies that monkey versatility and charisma perfectly. So he can do it all. <laughs> and then you have someone like Oscar Schindler. Now, his story is incredibly powerful and moving, but it also highlights a completely different side of those monkey traits. Absolutely. Talk about adaptability under pressure. His story really showcases a monkey's ability to navigate those high-stakes situations and use their resourcefulness for incredible good. It's like those monkey instincts can be used to entertain on a stage or, in Schindler's case, literally save lives. Exactly. It all comes down to intention and I think a deep sense of empathy. Monkeys are incredibly perceptive. They pick up on subtle cues. They understand people. And that can be a powerful force for good in the world. So true. It's like those classic monkey crates, the cleverness, the adaptability, the charisma. They're not inherently good or bad. It's all about how they're channeled. Exactly. Just like any personality trait, they have their light and shadow sides. It's about understanding the full spectrum. Well said. Okay, I have a question for our listeners. Any of this sound familiar? Do you see these monkey traits in yourself, in your friends, maybe even in that one coworker who always has a witty comeback ready to go? We want to hear your stories. You know, we've been diving deep into the world of monkeys, and I got to say, every time we do one of these deep dives, I walk away with a whole new perspective. It's like you think you know something, and then bam, you realize there's a whole other level. It's true. The Chinese Zodiac... It never ceases to amaze me. Right. And it reminds me of that quote, uh, the more you learn, the more you realize how much you don't know. <laughs> okay. So speaking of learning more, the source mentioned something called Zodiac Fusion, and I am intrigued. 
Have you heard of this? Oh, absolutely. It's fascinating stuff. It's like taking your Chinese zodiac sign and then layering it with your Western astrological sign for an even more nuanced understanding of your personality. Okay, so wait, walk me through this. How does it actually work? Like, what's the difference between, say, a monkey Aries and a monkey Pisces? Mm. Well, think about it this way. You're combining the core traits of the monkey, that wit, adaptability, that go-getter energy, and then you're adding in the specific influences of each Western sign. So a monkey Aries is going to be even more, what, outgoing, impulsive maybe? You got it. They might be the ones who jump into new projects headfirst, full of enthusiasm and ready to take charge. Whereas a monkey Pisces, they might channel that monkey intuition and creativity into more artistic pursuits, or maybe they're drawn to careers that involve helping others. Okay, this is blowing my mind a little bit. So basically it's like those personality tests that are super in-depth where it's not just like, are you an introvert or an extrovert? It's way more complex and specific. Exactly. It's about understanding the unique combination of energies that make each individual tick. I love it. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground today. Those core monkey traits, those potential relationship roller coasters, the careers where they truly shine. What's the biggest takeaway you hope our listeners walk away with? You know, I think it's about understanding that these Zodiac insights, they're not meant to put people in boxes. It's not about saying, oh, you're a monkey, so you must act like this. It's about using these ancient systems as a tool for self-discovery. I like that. It's like a starting point for understanding yourself and the people around you a little better. Exactly. It's about recognizing those patterns, having a good laugh at the things that make us tick, and maybe navigating those trickier relationship dynamics with a little more grace and understanding. Well said. So, whether you're a monkey, you love a monkey, or maybe you just work with one, I hope this deep dive has given you some serious food for thought. It's been a wild ride. It always is with monkeys. That's for sure. And on that note, we'll wrap things up for today. Be sure to join us next time as we continue our journey through the Chinese Zodiac. Until then, happy exploring.